I got to say, sometimes you can be wrong. Sometimes you can be really wrong on somebody. And I was that on Robert Sala. Um, I actually had someone comment on one of my videos um, from about a month ago. And he actually took a crack at me, but that's okay. He said that uh, the reason I probably didn't get a lot of views on the video is because I didn't know what I was talking about <clears throat> about Robert Sala. But any of us who watched games early on this year definitely saw um, him not adjusting and not making necessary changes. Um, but those things have definitely changed. And I'll be the first to say that I am pleasantly surprised how well he has adjusted to the loss of certain players this year, like D Ford and Nick Bosa. Um, the way he's been able to mix coverages with and without Sherman in the lineup with different players um, like Jimmy Ward, putting Sherman on a tight end, things of that nature. He has used, you know, we're, we're starting to see Tavarius Moore come on. We're starting to see Jimmy Ward in a different, uh, different role, you know, playing closer to the line of scrimmage. We got Marcel Harris playing outside linebacker in certain situations. Um, and he's done a magnificent job. I mean, the Niners are still ranked pretty high and defensively in the NFL. Um, they don't get a lot of sacks, but they play really good on the back end. Um, and that's all on Robert Sala. I, I, I stand corrected. I'm eating crow. And I'm okay with it. Um, you know, for a while, it looked like he was only good enough when he had everybody playing on the roster at full strength. You know, every superstar you could think of. You know, Nick Bosa, D. Ford, uh, DeForest Buckner. But he's had to make um, make do with what he's had. He's had. He's made chicken salad out of chicken shit. Um, a lot of times this year and um, especially lately. So I had an old video that was up. Somebody commented on it, pretty much told me, I don't know what I'm talking about. And, but at that point I, you know, I was calling it like I see it. So I'll call it like I see it now. If, if he continues to do this, no matter how we finish this year, uh, there's no doubt he's going to be a head coach next season. Uh, a lot of people are connecting with the Detroit Lions and rightfully so. So good on Robert Sala to, uh, prove me wrong at least and you know prove some other 49ers fans wrong who think he's only good because he's got the top players so I just want to say that I stand corrected and I think he's doing a fantastic job and I hope to see him become a head coach next year and uh, who knows who who could you know replace him at defensive coordinator it could be someone like Dan Quinn uh, it could be someone from within, like D'Amico Ryans, um, Chris Kosarek. You never know. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to comment on that and say that uh, I'm glad I'm wrong and I'm glad he's doing well, and uh, I wish him all the best if he decides to uh, take a coaching job next year. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. I'll talk to everybody later. Everybody stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you on the flip side. See ya.